This evening I'm just going to run through the editing on this image of Walter. Walter is a German short haired pointer. This image was taken on Mapleton Cliffs which is um, the top of the cliffs above a beach in East Yorkshire which is in the northeast of the United Kingdom. Um, Walter was a fantastic model. Um, this has been shot with a 70-200 lens at 3.5. Um, it was a very cloudy day, it was misty and drizzly, um, so the, the images lacked warmth and they were very flat lighting. It was nice because it was even light, but it didn't have any direction and it makes the images lack contrast. So we're looking to put all of those things that are missing back into the image. So the first things first, what I always do with every image anyway, is run a base edit on it. So I'm going to just drop the highlights, lift the shadows, lift the clarity, and lift the vibrance. So I'm just going to go into camera calibration, change the profile to camera standard, which will drop all the warmth back into the image. I am going to lift the warmth on it anyway, just a little bit more, like so. Then I'm going to go into detail and add some sharpening back into the image. It's also added a little bit of noise, so I'm just going to drop the noise reduction in luminance up to 10. Okay, I'm then going to go in and crop. Um, with this image I did have to use spot metering because of the con weather conditions, so um, it means that Walter had to be, Walter's head had to be slap bang in the middle of the image. This wasn't great really for composition, so I made sure I left enough room either side to crop back into the aspect ratio that I'd like, which is about there in a 16 by 10. So it's still looking a bit flat, and I think that's because um, the grass around him is very light. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a radial filter, which is this one here. I'm just going to run that over his head. So as standard, that jumps up to um, the exposure, and it puts the exposure at 0.5. So I'm wanting to just zero that back out. I don't want anything to affect there. And I'm going to drag the highlights down. And I'm going to lift the clarity and lift the saturation. So we've gone from that to that, but his head's left completely alone. Okay. So I'm just going to add a bit of a bright gradient. So I'm going to run the gradient from one side of the image down. I'm going to equalise the exposure on it, but lift the highlights, and then I'm going to drag that through. I'm just going to add a bit of warmth. Okay. Oh, bit too much yellow there. That should be okay. A little bit less. That's great. Okay, so um, the final thing I'm going to do is go into the um, brush tool um, and I'm going to just lift the exposure over his eyes just so that the eyes are drawn to there when you look at the image. Finally, I'm just going to use the spot removal to tool to clone this bit of grass because it's really annoying. I'm going to swap that bit of grass for a similar looking bit of grass, which I think that will probably match up best. I'm just going to lock that in. And that is probably where I'd stop on that image. I'd maybe add a little bit of contrast, and the way I'm going to do that is not by using the contrast on here, but by going into split, uh, sorry, tone curve and pulling the shadows down on that side. I'm just going to pull the shadows down and I'm just going to lift up the highlights a touch. So I'm just going to show you the difference that's made. So that's before, after, before, after. So it's given it a really big punch. So I could present this to a client quite happily. Um, because I love Photoshop so much, I would probably take it into Photoshop anyway. Um, just run a hard sharpen on it to make sure it's prepared for a large print. But other than that, that's where I'd stop. So we've changed it quite a bit really. This is the before image and this is the after. So I'll show you it in a split, like that. So you can see the amount of colour we've added from here to here. 
and the amount of detail and clarity that we've put back into Walter. I hope that's been helpful for you. That's a really good way of making sure that all of your images look similar. So I'd then probably batch out those settings across all of the images that came in with that gallery in the same lighting condition, but I would remove the local adjustments like the radial filter and the brush and spot removal because it won't know where the subject matter is, but everything else I would leave in the same. I hope that's been helpful. If it has, please let us know. If it hasn't, then let us know anyway, and we'll try and sort it out for you next time. And if there's anything you'd like us to cover, then let us know that as well. Thank you.